Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, for today, we have an unboxing that I have been waiting to do for a while. I think I have placed this order maybe a week or so ago, and I was able to, I finally was able to get it today, and I'm so excited, and I really wanted to use this, but I figured I'd go ahead and do the unboxing video beforehand because I, I don't know about you guys, but I actually like watching unboxing videos. It just makes me excited even though it's not necessarily my item. It, I don't know, I think something about unboxing just, I just like watching them. So um, I figured I'd go ahead and film one for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I guess I'll unbox this first. And then I'll go over some of the specifics, what it is, um, have I been actually wanting this piece for a while, uh, and all that stuff. So I usually like it when people just go ahead and go do the unboxing and then talk about it. So, right, so here it is. Here is the box that it came with. It's not really a big box. I mean, it's also not really a big piece. So let's go ahead and open that up. So it's actually a true unboxing for you guys because as you can see, um, the tapes and everything are still attached. So, let me go ahead and Alright, so, um, I don't know if you guys know what it is, but I think you will if you see this little tab right here so it is from Tori Birch and basically this little card says thank you our brand was started with founding principle to empower women we hope you love your order and are thrilled you are a part of our community so there's that they always have the, the best packaging in my opinion all right so it's this one all right it's still packed really nicely. So sometimes when I order some stuff from Tory Birch, usually the dust bag is inside and sometimes the dust bag is already like covering the bag. So I don't know, I guess it just depends on where it's from. But let's go ahead and open it. Any guesses as to what it is? You can kind of like see the shape. Um, if you guys want to make a guess, go ahead and pause the video and really quickly comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right, so let's open this up. So this piece is actually one of the things that I've been eyeing out for a while. Um, I've been to the store so many times, multiple times, and actually tried this on. Not necessarily this particular color, although it's always kind of like in this family of color. Um, I just don't know. I've never really taken the plunge and jump, but they actually had a price increase too. So it's not like drastic like Louis Vuitton or Chanel because usually their price increases are hundreds and thousands. This is like, I don't know, maybe like 10, 20, $30 increase, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, anyway, I went to their website. It finally went on sale. And um, if you guys don't know, Tory Burch usually goes like have a lot of sales throughout the year. And sometimes the classic colors do goes on sale, but not very often. So this is not necessarily a seasonal piece or seasonal color, but I guess it's not necessarily their classic, one of their permanent classic colors either, although it is their classic line. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox her. Are you guys ready? Ah, ah okay, all right. So, um, let me go ahead and take that off. This is the Tory Burch Fleming Small Convertible Shoulder Bag. This is the smaller one. They actually have a bigger one. Um, and I did try both of them in the store. And I, if you guys already know anything about me, I don't like anything big. I don't like big bags. I'm more kind of like in the compact, small bag. So I think this is actually very similar to the size of Chanel Rectangular Mini. I had that before I got rid of it, so I don't have that to compare with but maybe a little bit bigger because you can actually put a lot more stuff in it too. 
Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and take off the stuff and we'll go over it really quickly. So that's huge. Well, Tory Birch is like their packaging is really, really nice. It's well protected. Comes like that. So take that off. And then do this. Yeah. All right. So for for those of you who are watching right now, you're probably like, that looks very similar to a classic flap. And I, I'm pretty sure they were inspired by the classic flap, right? Um, I probably would go as far as saying that the structure of this one is probably just a little bit better, just the way it's made. I've always had good admiration and mad love for the brand because um, I feel like all of the stuff that I've gotten from them, I've never really had any issues with. And like, you know, the stuff from the luxury houses now, especially with Chanel, a lot of people are complaining with quality issues. I've never really heard anything about Tory Burch or at least people complaining about it. So I guess that says something about the brand, right? So let's go ahead and take this one right here. And they always package their items really, really well. So that's amazing. Okay, so here she is. Here she is. All right in all her glory. So like I said, this is the Tory Burch Small Flem Fleming Small Convertible Shoulder Bag. And um, before the sale, the retail price for this item is $498. So this is what I'm talking about. I think back in the day, a few years back, I think they were like 428, 448 around, or maybe 478. I think it was like below 450. And then it went up and then it went up again. So it's almost $500 but they recently had a sale and i think the sale is still going on and they have a lot of like selections so this one went on sale went from 4.98 to 3.99 and then i actually have a coupon from tory birch because it was from my birthday my birthday month is uh february but i just never used it so it expired and i just reached out to them letting them know that hey i never really got to use my coupon code is there any way that you guys can give me a new one and you know they just gave me that so you can stack that so it was 3.99 and then 50 off and then you know tax whatever so it's pretty good for an all leather bag it's definitely a pretty good alternative to chanel classic flap like chanel mini even the small maybe this is actually very similar to what the classic size the small size would be i don't know i've never had that um item so i can't really say although you know i could I'll look up the dimensions online. Hi guys, it's me from the future. I just really quickly looked up the dimensions of both bags. So the Fleming small convertible is 5.4 inches in height and 8.4 inches in length. And then the depth is 2.6 inches versus the Chanel small classic is actually 5.7 in height. 9 inches in length and 2.3 inches in depth so very very similar however i think as far as like the, the capacity it's probably going to be very close just because the small classic flap having that double flap definitely limits what you can put in it so just fyi thanks back to the video but anyway um there's that so there's the front it comes with a non-removable strap. It's also not adjustable. Um, it comes with this one right here. I'm not really particularly sure if I will keep this or not. I don't like any tassels or dangling, especially just the way it's kind of like laid out. I might just take it off because um, it's like pretty easy to take off anyway. It's like you just take that off and it'll come off. So that, and I'm most likely going to wear this crossbody, but you can actually wear it um, shoulder bag too. So let's open this up and open it. It's just like one. It's a, got a really strong magnet. You open it like so, and it's got just one compartment, one big compartment on the inside. And then take it off. It's just that. And it's just right there. So it's got like one zip compartment right here. And one, ooh, actually that might be, is that a card holder? I think they have changed the design since they 
first came out with it a few years ago. So one zip compartment right here, and then on this, the front flap, it's got two card holders or card compartments. And so that. And then the back has that little back pocket. It's pretty, pretty substantial. I think you can put, depending on your phone, my phone is not gonna fit here because it's, mine is the 13 Pro Max, but if you have a smaller one, you can definitely put that in here. And then it's got like a really strong, not as strong as the front flap, but a strong magnet on the back. So maybe not foam because it's, well, it looks not, doesn't have a lot of like space. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and do more tests for you guys. So again, I am 531, 13 pounds. And this is actually look good. Put that right here. All right, so it is, so I don't know if you guys remember, I do have the um, Chanel 19. Definitely very similar in color, however, I kind of like justified it in my head that I'm like, well, it's not the same structure. It is very similar to like a classic flap maybe. So if I had, say for example, I already had the caramel um, small or medium or mini or even medium, I probably wouldn't have gotten this, but since it's different shape anyway, I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna get it. I'm a sucker for brown, what can I say? So yeah, it's just like that. And it's definitely gonna be mostly crossbody because it's going to be a little bit too long if I just go ahead and do this. I usually don't carry my purses like that. First of all, whenever I try to carry shoulder bags, it always falls. I think I just have weird shoulders. So it's always just like this. So it just hits me kind of like right on that hip, which is great. Um, it's not too bulky either. And it's got like a very good, comfortable reach. So when I open that, I can just like really quickly reach for my items and I don't feel like it's like right here or it's not too far down, okay? And let's see, the flap is straight, guys. That's amazing. All right. And then you can also wear it, I guess, if you want to, a little bit more formal. Just like do it like that, which is also still actually pretty comfortable. I'm most likely going to wear it like this than like the longer shoulder length just because it just doesn't work for me. At least this one, I can control it a little bit better if I have my, my arms right here. Okay, all right, so oh, I think that is pretty much it. I am most likely, if you guys are interested, probably going to do either a comparison or a, a little bit of a review, maybe a few months down the road when I actually had the chance to use it just so that it's a little bit more objective, right? Um, but yes, let me know if you guys want to see anything and I can definitely review that, you know, what fits, blah, 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 things like that, right? Just leave a comment down below. Um, other than that, so thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you're um, updated every time I upload a new video and you don't miss it. Um, other than that, I'll see you on my next video. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.